So let's do some shopping in Aldi, Aldi, whatever. These are non-organic, but uh, so you have one kilogram of uh, of beetroots. I could, uh, I could probably, I could, uh, I have organic beetroots at home, but otherwise I could, I could buy these in other situations. And they are only six Danish crowns per kilo, so that's pretty, pretty cheap. And you can say that. Um, for 7.5 Danish crowns you get one euro and for about six and a half you get one dollar, American dollar. We have some organic juice for uh, 19 Danish crowns. Um, I like the, the apple juice but the orange juice is pretty strange. I'll skip that today. <laughs> if you like organic juice or apple juice uh, you can get this one liter for 11 Danish crowns, so that's that's pretty pretty good. The main reason why I visit Aldi is because of this uh, orange juice. It's 13 Danish crowns and it's uh, refrigerated and it's from uh, and it's from not from concentrate, so it's from oranges. If, even though it's pasteurized, I think it's it's nice to to have. And it's a long time since I have any orange or um, or orange juice, so I'm. T picking some of these bottles today. So I'm currently searching for some uh, alternative for uh, fresh tomatoes that you can use. These uh, don't in um, they don't have almost <laughs> any salt in them so that's perfect and they're organic and they're quite cheap 16 inch crowns. So uh, I'll try the, these and, and see if, what the taste is because I have a feeling that all the tomatoes currently are very bad, but uh, let's see if uh, this uh, doesn't taste funny. And when they have them, the, the organic cucumbers so for 7 Danish crowns, they are really, really, really tasty. And their bricks value is quite high also, if you have seen my bricks uh, comparison. So this is, uh, I'll take, I don't know, maybe all of them. And just to compare, these are organic tomatoes, 20, 20 crowns for a half kilo. Uh, they're Spanish, but they actually do have excellent, excellent organic fruit in uh, Spain. Uh, but they have the Spain has a very bad reputation in Denmark because all the non-organic are very filled with uh, pesticides. But otherwise, yeah, we could also try try this one to see if we can make a good tomato sauce. But they are not always as tasty as, uh, as the canned ones, so I'm not sure what to do in each case. So now we'll go and check out. When I come home, I put the orange juice in a warm area, so I don't need to drink very cold orange juice. I like my orange juice to be around 20 degrees Celsius or something, something, or something like that. What I like to do before I drink the orange juice is to eat some, uh, some fiber. I know that there is not much fiber. In, uh, in cucumbers but it's on almost only water but the, these are really tasty and really good and they they are a whole plant and organic and this is just great. The thing with the fiber is that it should prevent the sugar to go into your bloodstream too fast so you get an insulin spike so that's what I'm hoping for by eating this uh, cucumber before uh, drinking the orange juice. It's not that that the cucumber must be very sweet but if it has sweetness, it tastes just much better and it's not bitter or anything at all. So these cucumbers are world class. Let's see the brick. Yes, it's almost three. That's perfect. 